Hi, here is a quick video to help you use our installer. After your purchase, you will be redirected to a link to our installer. Download the one for your platform and open it. First, log in to your account. If you purchased your library from a third party vendor, you can create an account from our installer as well. Once you're logged in, you will be redirected to a simple 4 tabs page. You need to follow each step to get your library installed. The first step is installing our player, the UVI workstation, as well as the iLog protection software. If you already have a version of UVI workstation installed, our installer should be able to tell which one and advise you to update if necessary. If you never used it, just click on download and install. The download would start and automatically open in another window. Just follow the steps and get back to our installer when it's finished. The second step is registering your serial number. If you purchased it from a third party, just click on the top button. If you purchased the library directly from us, your serial number will appear in the list and just click on Authorize. If you don't already have an iLock account, you can create a free iLock account from our installer. Just enter your details and click on Create. If you already have an iLock account, just click on the first button and enter your iLock ID to verify that it's yours. A few information will be displayed and should be enough to know if the account is yours. If it is your iLock ID, just click on Register. The license has now been tied to your iLock account and the download links have been generated. The third step is the computer activation. This needs to be done in the iLock License Manager. So first check the small animation and explanation and then click on the button to open the iLock License Manager. You can also open it manually, it was installed with UVI Workstation. Once it's opened, just sign into the same iLock account you registered your license to, then choose the license you just registered from the main panel and drag and drop it to the location of your choice. This location can be the computer you're using or an iLock key. You can register each license to three different locations, as well as unregister them any number of times if you need to. You can now go back to our installer. The fourth step is the library installation. If the serial number has been properly registered as step two, the link to your library should be listed here. Just click on the install or alt install link. Then choose where you want to install the library file and the download and extraction process will start. That's it, you can now just open UVI Workstation in standalone or as a plugin in your sequencer. To load your library, just double click on double click to open browser. Your newly installed library will be listed under Soundbanks in the left column. All you have to do is select it and double click on one of the presets and the library will load. That's it for this video. If you experience any problem, just create the support ticket on our website and we'll help you quickly.